Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I was asked to do this, and I thought, no problem. I'll be able to stand up and do it, and I won't get emotional. My mate Remo, he's done me already. <laughs> he gripped me a few times when I was at Barnes as a 16 year old and nearly brought me to tears. But that was with those big hands he had. Uh, I've been asked to, to speak on behalf of him and he's, I've known him 40, 47 years. Uh, I joined Barnes. I, I hope I can do him justice actually. That's what I like to think. I think the crowd that's turned up, I thought it'd be a full house for him, and it is, and uh, that is certainly justice, and I hope my words will do it as well. When I joined in 75, he was the groundsman, the physio, assistant manager, at least I think he was, he used to do everything. I, I, I came through a career at Barnsley that he did everything, and as I joined as a 16-year-old, what I always remember is that first big warm handshake with those huge hands that scared all of us to death. None of us fancied a box off him when we were being cheeky. And we used to do the pitch with him, uh, divoting on a Monday morning, or sweeping the terraces. And sweeping the terraces were horrible because you were on your own. Divoting the pitch, at least you were with Remo, and you could share. <coughs> You'd share those stories. He loved telling from his work. He loved telling from his football. And I guess all of us as apprentices used to, uh, used to hang on to every word he said. I certainly did. Uh, and it's just interesting. He's probably said better than I can say it, actually. And I hope you don't mind, Amelia, because I thought that some of the things that his children, grandchildren have said probably speak louder than I can. It just says, and it, it sort of sums up what I thought, because as a young player, he gave me so much support, uh, so much encouragement. He, uh, he always saw the, I think he always saw the best in people. Certainly with me. And uh, probably one of the reasons why I'm stood here and had the career that I've had is down to him. Sorry, sorry. He called me a big soft sod, wasn't he? <laughs> And he'd be right, by the way, and I'm getting worse. Since I became a granddad, I've become a real big soft son. But uh, when we all up at our yours on a Sunday, Amelia says, and the house was busy and loud, you always still managed to have a quiet word with me, asking how I was doing and what I was doing, including boyfriends. This has taught me it doesn't matter, even in a large family, you valued everyone, showing you were just a true team player. I will always remember you. And I'd say that was the case. It didn't matter whether you were the captain of the under 18s or the 19s of the North Media League, or you're one of the reserves, I think he gave you the same time, same encouragement, same support. And that was for everybody. And that's what I've always found about him. So it really is, you know, I just, I just saw those things and I saw, I saw another one, which I thought summed him up what I've just been saying. Norman, I will miss you. You made me laugh with your stories. We all did. We loved him. It was just. We'd be sat in with Nelly and Nancy and Tom and Wilf and uh, listening to every word and, and it's Max's. I love his stories, especially those with a swear word in them. <laughs> I loved it when we walked onto the Oakwell pitch with you on your, on your 90th birthday, I love Mac. And I, there's, there's all the things I remember about him as well. So I said, it's my privilege to speak. And I think on behalf of everybody in here, of the football community that I think respected him, loved him, admired him, were helped by him. So it's a privilege for me to stand up on behalf of everybody here and I think saying the things that if everybody else could stand in and say, they would say how much they respected him, admired him, loved him. I certainly did. Uh, <clears throat> and so we're all, we're all sad at losing such a great man. You know, I'm looking at him and he'll be the one man that's happy about it because over the last two years Certainly two or three years. Every time I rang him or went to see him, I'd say, yeah, how are they doing, Remo? No, I'm not right, kid, I'm knackered. <laughs> so there's a story with a swear word in there. I hope you forgive me, Father. Uh, 
And I used to say, no, that's all right, Remo, that'll be okay. No, lad, I'm knackered, I'm about ready to join our Jesse. And that's what he wanted. So we sat in there having a smile, I'm sure. But he can, he can now join his beloved Jesse and where I think he's wanted to be for the last, for the last, <coughs> excuse me, for the last couple of years, certainly for the last couple of years when he lost his mobility. I mean, that was all to him. He could get about. He was working for heaven's sake until he was 91. I used to go down and I always sought his counsel. He's, he's, I said I'm here because of him, probably my career that I've had. He gave me wise counsel a couple of times when I was in trouble as a, as a kid at Barnsley, and certainly as a young player at Barnsley. And I'd always go and join him at, at games. I didn't sit in the director's box when I went to Barnsley. I went and sat with Rimmo. And everybody did, and everybody would ask, how's Rimmo? He's throughout the world, well, throughout the football world, he's known. And uh, I said he can go and join his beloved Jesse now up there. And you know what, if I'm lucky enough and I end up there with him, and there's a team up there, and I'm managing it, the first bloke I'm going to go and get is him. Because he'll have it sorted. He'll give me the best advice, because he always did, and I'll know where to go and get it. And you know what, if I get that team, it'll be the first time that me and Rimmo have had the Heaven 11. Because yeah. we probably had it the tough way. And uh, I guess we liked it, because me, like him, I'm going to be a bit of a moaning old bugger, and he was that, believe me. Rimmo, I, uh, I think I can say, I see all the football people around here, that we're all going to miss you. We're all, certainly I can see your family, we've lost uh, Parent, a grandparent, a great grandparent, maybe brothers, sisters, and all that. We've we've all lost a really close friend, and all I can say is it's been my privilege and honour. <coughs> says on here, my mate Rimo, and I can't say any better than that. It's been a privilege and an honour to know him, and to say that he was a friend. Thank you.